Previously on Sailing Wind Therapy, we sailed in some pretty gross weather, caught our first and only lobster of the season, and replaced our spinnaker halyard. Sometimes Jeff takes this boat places that really make me unhappy. I know he would never do anything to uh, put us in danger, but I don't know. Sometimes I just have to hold my breath and say, I trust you, honey, I trust you. And I do. I think we'll get used to that at some point, although that wasn't too scary. No, the current was going the right way for us. Yeah. So the cool part about cruising is um, you can just you change your plans like instantaneously. We were headed towards the Lobster Key today, and we got there, and it was really rough. And I knew the winds were coming from the west, so we called an audible, and we went through this really tight cut, which we just showed you, I think, on the video. And then um, we came out, and we're just heading south. I was going to head today into Normans, and it's just we. We got to a place called Saddle Key or Little Norman's Key, and it's just spectacular here. I'm like, why can't we just anchor there? I mean, there's no anchorage spot or anything or no markings, but this is just idyllic. So I'll show you where we're at. It's, uh, you can see it. So that's Norman Key below, and this is Saddle Key or Little Norman's Key. So we kind of came through this cut here and around, and now we're just anchored here. Some beaches over there, some rocks where we can look for lobsters over there. And there's a little beach over there, and there's some stuff over there. This is just amazingly beautiful. Anyway, we're here, and we're here to stay for today. So we just beached the dinghies on Saddle Key or Little Norman's Key. Perfect job. Perfect job what? Because it kind of buried our anchor. Oh, thank you. Oliver or Lucas did it. Wait, me and Lucas. Lucas. I, well, I, was, I wasn't watching. Oh my god, I just did that. So we're going to go explore this island and right opposite us over there, that island over there is Norman Island. That's where uh, Carlos Leder Leder the guy from the uh, who worked for Pablo Escobar, that, that was his island in the 80s. So all sorts of famous stories over there. So we're gonna go explore this island now, but it's just spectacular. I wonder who's buried here. There's a whole open ocean out here, and these jackasses have to fly right next to our boat. Right in between them. Whole open ocean, and they gotta do this. Yeah. What's the name of their boat? Ocean what? Ocean assholes, is that what it is? Ocean assholes. There you go. These guys clearly have no idea how they're, what they're doing though on these jet skis. They put them on a Harley, then you see how they, <laughs> how they ride. Because they these guys were just like holding on, like for not look just looking like this and not looking around, just holding on for dear life. Like they put them on a on a road glide and and see what happens. Although if you put them on a road glide and they did this, they'd probably sink. Somebody'd kill them. No, they probably sank because it's Yeah, water. that's true. And road bikes are heavy. Right. Ha <laughs> ha. 
this. All of this water, all of it, it's like two feet deep. Yeah. Everywhere you look. This is insanely beautiful. It really is. We just accidentally stopped here. There, and there's so many places like this that we, we just have to explore. Let's go find another one. Yeah. It looks like what the people in the 50s envisioned the future looking like. Yes, right. All right, if I have to go the power yacht route, I think I want that. What do you think? I take it. Ray I've ever seen. Massive Ray right here. The biggest one. That's seriously the biggest Ray I've Gonna go green. Going, going. Oh, there it is. Woo! Thank you, son. Nice show. Where are we, babe? We are going up a river or a bay in Trout Key. It's really shallow. And we're just looking for critters and stuff. Critters. Bahamian critters. What's this? Is this right, a big ray? Yeah. Bahamian rock. That's a rock. So this is the inside cover for our hatch in our bedroom. And as you can see, it has fallen off of that. Luckily it fell down while we were sailing and nobody was sleeping in here when that happened. But we need to put it back on. Um, these little screws here ripped out of the ceiling and I wasn't sure, you know, how it was put up. So we got up in here. Ow. Oh, that was smart. Look at that. Boat bite of the day. Let me go take care of that and then I will be right back. We got up in here and realized that this whole hatch cover is only held up by little screws right in here and they just go through this little piece of fiberglass right here. So, I'll get this out of the way so I don't hurt myself again. I had these little pieces of wood and I didn't know what to do with them. See these little guys? I had those on the boat. Brought them from home. And I epoxied them on top of the screw holes of this piece of fiberglass. So now I'm just gonna drill little holes in there and put the screws through there and hopefully they won't pull out again.
Ta-da. Look at that. You did it? Yes. We all seem to be traveling in a pack, don't we, honey? We do, yeah. So we have us, Holly Lukey's behind us, and Sandy Bottoms is coming in. It is windy. Look at that. Nola, when you get the mooring ball, get it fast because it's going to blow you back. So we get to Waterick Wells and uh, our friends are coming in behind us and they couldn't get the mooring ball. So we dropped the dinghy and helped them get the mooring ball, like a little rescue mission. But during that time, my favorite American flag, red, white, and blue do-rag flew off my head. So we had to do a do-rag rescue. So we did that and I jumped in the water to get the do-rag and as soon as I jump in, there's just like this five foot, I would say five, maybe it's three and a half foot. Maybe I exaggerate a little. But it's big, nasty barracuda is like right in my face. I'm like, ah! Oh! So we rescued the we rescued the do-rag. And then our friends, our other friends, their the um, mooring ball, the lines were messing with their bowsprit. So I was going to help them with the bowsprit and it ended up breaking the bowsprit. So as we're undoing the cables for the bowsprit, on, we were on their dinghy, um, the mooring ball line wrapped around the propeller of the dinghy. So then we we're trying to stick our heads in there and trying to, un and there's massive amounts of current coming in here apparently. So we finally unwrapped the mooring ball from the propeller, freed the dinghy, and then freed the bowsprit, and now everything's good. But it was just a lot of action. Now I thought it was gonna be nice and quiet and calm and just turtles and sharks and Well, there are stingrays. turtles and sharks and stingrays. So, but so I've been in the water three times already. I'm exhausted. It's time for a nap. My, my shirt, I was gonna wear just like three days. It's already full of salt water. So, time for a nap maybe. But so far we saw um, shark, stingrays, tons of turtles, and this beautiful um, spotted eagle ray came by. It's huge also. So, so far it's pretty good, except for all the exciting action that's happening here. There oh, is... and my sunglasses disappeared at some point. I'm hoping it, I'm hoping they took it on their boat. My really nice Costa sunglasses. That's why I'm squinting like this, because my sunglasses are gone. This is good. This takes us to Boo Boo Hill. Or so they say. Yeah. This is the trail to Boo Boo Hill. This way. You made it to Boo Boo Hill, honey? I did, all the way to the top of Boo Boo Hill. I know, that's where we're going. We're going that way. And you have to find the sign that says Boosha Highway. Otherwise? Otherwise, we will end up all the way at the other end of this island. The pirate's lair, Arg! Pirate! Arg! This! I knew 
Over there is Pirates here. Arg. If we get really hungry and get lost, we might have to eat one of the kids. I don't know, they're kind of skinny. Yeah. Where does it take us? Oh, Jesus! Oh. oh my God, these things are huge! These, look right here. And there's one over there. What are they? Giant, giant iguanas. They're not giant iguanas, they're lizards. Oh. But uh, Lucas jumped and they went, they went scattered and it scared the hell out of me. Really, you kind of broke their home. This is the expressway back. Where's the, like, a landing? Where? I was telling. Where, where's my Thai corner? I was yeah. telling Adrian if we get stuck out here and we get really hungry, we might have to eat one of the kids. I know. But they're very bony. Yeah, so they probably taste better than these lizards. Yeah. Well, no, not much. The geckos, there's not probably much. more meat on them. Yeah, so yeah. we'll skip. We'll skip eating the kids. We'll skip the. <laughs> we'll chew the tail. I think you're afraid of food. Somehow we ended up in the. In the woods. This looks like one of those things where they put the palm fronds down and you fall into a trap. You fall into the snare. It's suspicious. Right? Yep. It's very suspicious. Very yeah. suspicious. Hey, wait. I know all this is. This is the scenic trail. We did it. All right. Did anyone get bit by any animals or bugs or spiders oh, or nope. rodents? We're not poisoned. No. Nope. Watch out for the poison wood tree over there. Okay, I didn't get it. Look, I didn't get any. I didn't get. Ooh. Hey, poison wood, poison wood. Where's the bridge? Where's the bridge? That's fairly spectacular, isn't it? Why? Because I get hot and my body basically aches you. Actually, actually, it's because my large brain keeps me up. Okay, everybody, you know what? I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna go. Just to make sure that you don't step on anything. Well, you know what? I think I'm, I'm good. Thanks. Yeah. Just look at me. Careful. Okay. And these stones are little. Yeah, they're a little rocky. Actually, they took over a little bit. We're casting off. <laughs> Pool time. It's cold. No, I just jump in. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Just jump in. Woo! How's it? Oh, I lost my seat. Oh! <laughs> I missed it. You look like a glistening goddess with the, with the sunlight glistening around you. Join us next time as we swim with the fish in Thunderball Grotto. I learned to breathe. Ride out a blow in Black Point Harbor. Calypso and the captain. And do seven loads of laundry in the coolest laundromat in the Bahamas. Calypso if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Remember, hit the bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new video. And tell your friends. We all need therapy